Okay, in this video, we're going to set up Windows 10 to work with uh, Centroid CNC software. Um, a few things before we get started. Make sure all Windows updates have been run. And you can do this by going down here and then go to Settings and then Update and Security and then check for updates. And at this point, if you're connected to the internet, Windows is going to go out and check to see if there are any updates. So if you have any, run them, get them all updated before you proceed to move forward with uh, setting Windows 10 up and getting the software installed. So you see here we don't have any updates that need to be done. The other thing you want to do is make sure that your computer, all the drivers are up to date, especially the Ethernet port, because you're going to use the Ethernet port to communicate with Acorn. So make sure all your device drivers are up to date. You do that by either going to the manufacturer of your computer's website or, you know, the manufacturer of the motherboard and checking for updates. Now, we're putting together a computer that's going to drive a CNC machine. So that should be its sole purpose, in my opinion. You do want the ability to connect to the Internet when you need to, whether it's via Wi-Fi uh, which is most likely the case is use Wi-Fi, but turn it off when you're running your machine. And um, the benefits of having internet connectivity is if you need remote support for some reason, you could get some help that way. Or maybe if you're going to download a new version of the software, but you could always use a thumb drive from another computer and, and uh, use a thumb drive to uh, update the software in your computer. So uh, moving along, you want to make sure that uh, you have administrative privileges to make sure that we're set up as an administrator in the search box type control panel and here it is I actually have it pinned down here and to do that you just right click and pin to start and it'll show up down in the taskbar then we're going to go to user accounts user accounts and you'll see here it says CNC user local account administrator if you need to change it, you click on change your account type. And if you're set to standard, you would change it to administrator. So we're good here. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we're going to go to system and security. Security and maintenance. And we're going to change security and maintenance settings. Now here we want to uncheck all these options. These are just pop-up messages that may pop up and you don't want them popping up during a CNC session. So we click OK. Now we're going to change user account control settings and we're going to drag this slider all the way down to the bottom and click OK and we'll say yes. Okay the next thing we're gonna go to control panel home we're go to system security and here we're gonna turn off Windows firewall so we click on Windows firewall and we're gonna go over here turn Windows firewall on or off we wanna turn it off and we wanna turn under public network, network settings, we want to turn it off as well. We'll click on OK. And then we want to change notification settings. And we want to make sure it says turn firewall off under private network settings. And under public network settings, turn Windows firewall off is set. And we click OK. OK, we want to go back to control panel home. And we're going to go to system and security. And now we're going to go to power options. All right, we want to be, we want to look for the high performance option, which is not lo listed here. So we're going to go down here, and there it is. So we're going to click high performance. And now we're going to go to change plan settings. Click on change advanced power settings. We'll set the hard disk to zero. We're going to go to sleep after setting is never and that's what we want and hibernate never and we're not going to worry about wake timers 
USB settings, USB selective suspend setting. We're going to disable that so the USB port never goes to sleep. And then we're going to go on down here to the display setting and turn off display after. We're going to change that to zero. And then we click apply and click OK. Okay, we're going to go back to settings. Let's put in date and time settings. And this is set time automatically. It's suggested that we turn it off. So we're going to go back and double check to make sure that Windows Firewall is turned off. Um, you want to make sure that you don't have any firewall uh, installed on your computer or it's likely to cause the CNC software not to be able to communicate with uh, Acorn. So you go into System Security, we'll go to Windows Firewall, and you can see here it's off. Now you'll get nagging pop-ups that come up that say, hey, Windows Firewall's off. Just be careful because you can accidentally turn it back on. If you ever have a communications uh, issue with Acorn, uh, the first thing to do is go in and make sure that Windows Firewall is turned off or your firewall is, is, is off. Um, if your firewall is off, then power down Acorn and power down your PC, power Acorn up and power up your PC and give it another go. But most times it's because Windows Firewall was uh, on or accidentally got turned on. Okay, so the next step is we need to download the software. So we're going to go to centroidcnc.com. From this main page, we'll shop Centroid DIY CNC. And here you'll see the three different controllers. Here's the Acorn controller. Let's just click on it and it'll take us to the Acorn resource page and as you scroll down here right here here's some resources for you so here's the Acorn controller hookup schematics you can download the latest schematic set right here and then here's the Centroid free CNC mill and lathe software download and then here's another page uh, for installing software and uh, here's some more resources for you. If you're running a mill, you probably want to download the CNC mill operator manual. If you're running a lathe, you'll probably want to use the uh, lathe operator manual. And then this is a link to Centroid's community support forum. So this is the best place, your best resource for help or to show off what you're working on, um, share pictures or videos. It's highly encouraged so that we can all see uh, the types of things that Acorn users are, are uh, controlling with Acorn. And here is an Acorn CSC controller buyer's frequently asked question page. So we want to download the software. Let's go here. And then here's the minimum performance requirements. If you haven't already done this to make sure your PC meets the minimums, go here. And here's another section on setting up your PC for Windows 10. And then if it's a fresh install, you can follow these install videos. If you're updating from an older version, you can use this link here. Uh, we're starting fresh, so we're going to go ahead and download the software. I'm going to save it to my desktop. The software is saved to my desktop. Now I'm going to go ahead and extract all files and I'll say extract. Okay, and so now we're ready to run setup. Now, before you run setup, 
get your acorn wired up and powered up to its power supply that came with the acorn kit that you saw in the previous video get your ethernet cable plugged into your cnc pc and plugged into acorn now i would go ahead and reboot my pc at this point so that we can make sure that the pc establishes communication with acorn um, i have communication established with acorn so we're going to go ahead with the install so at this point we're going to run setup Click I agree. We'll install the desktop shortcuts. And we're going to do mill. It's already checked. We'll say next. Default directory is our C drive. And we'll go ahead and install it. Click next. Okay, the MPU connects to your PC through a network adapter which must have a static IP address of 10.168.41.1. Please select the network adapter that you would like to use with the MPU 12 in an attempt to change and an attempt to change the IP address will be made. So we'll click on the drop down. Now you'll see I have two, local area network connection and Wi-Fi. Do not choose Wi-Fi. I have a, a USB Wi-Fi adapter on this computer and that's what this is. You're going to choose the local area network connection. So we'll pick it. It says, would you like us to change the IP address for local area connection to 10.168.41.1? Please note this may take a few seconds. Yes. So what the software is going to do is assign this IP address to the physical Ethernet port on the computer. So we'll say yes. successfully set the Ethernet adapter. So we click OK and we click Finish. I'm going to close that now. So this is the wizard. Uh, this is where you'll select um, your inputs, outputs, and set up your drives and so forth. The very first thing we want to do is the bench test. So you'll see that the radio button for bench test is selected. So this is what we want to do first. We're going to do the bench test. We're not going to touch anything else. Everything else is set up for bench testing. So all this is going to do is write a PLC program to the software so that we can just do a bench test on Acorn. That's all we're doing at this point. So bench test is checked. What we want to do now is write settings to CNC control configuration. Write these settings to the configuration we click yes settings are saved so at this point we just click OK and we'll close the wizard and now we're going to go ahead and start CNC 12 mil and do the bench test now at this point if you have any you're going to get a message saying uh, MP rebooting do not power off do not power off right now you can you can brick the acorn and the uh, firmware would have to be reflashed to it. So follow the instructions. Be patient. And it came up. So we have communications to acorn. If you get this screen, then you successfully configured Windows 10 and you've successfully installed the CNC software and you are communicating with Acorn. Now what we can do at this point is we can, I have a touchscreen PC, you can't see that I'm going to use my mouse. Um, you can click the uh, reset button and you'll see up in the window the dialog box here says reset initiated, press reset to clear. We can do that. The reset's cleared and now there's a message here it says warning home machine home not set. Now remember we don't have this connected to a machine yet. We're just doing bench testing. So jog all access to their home positions and press cycle start to set machine home. Well we're not connected to anything so what we're going to do is we're just going to press cycle start to set machine home. And there we go we have digital readouts. So now what we want to do is let's uh, let's just jog it as if we were jogging motors. 
you'll see over here this is called the virtual control panel and you'll see the incremental LED on the button is lit so if we were to try and jog we would be moving incrementally by 1 by 10 or by 100 so we want to move continuous so we press this button and we'll just press we're doing X positive we're doing X negative we can press Y positive Y negative and you can see the DRO changing so signals are going out through the step and direction ports of Acorn as we do this here's Z positive and Z negative so we successfully bench tested basically we got CNC 12 in this case installed and we've got communications to Acorn, so now we're ready to start connecting Acorn to our motors.